So we're now on number 12 of Dr. Long's review questions from lectures 17 through 18. Number 12 asks, how might you determine whether the flippase is a primary active transporter or a secondary active transporter based on either um, A, its protein sequence, or B, comparing its activity in isolated membranes versus intact cells? So we're going to start with A. Um, I have right here is a little summary of primary active transport and secondary active transport. So remember that primary active transporters involve chemical energy, so for example ATP, gradients are necessary, while secondary active transporters involve an electrochemical gradient. So this would be um, another ion gradient like sodium or um, proton gradient. So you would need to know, you would know that the flippase is a primary active transporter if its protein sequence contains a nucleotide binding domain, binding domain since primary active transporters bind um, ATP. Um, the second part, B, asks how would you know by comparing its activity in isolated membranes versus intact cells. Now because primary active transporters use ATP and secondary active transporters need another type of protein to supply energy, you could determine whether the flippase is primary or secondary in an isolated membrane by manipulating which proteins are present. So if it works without ATP, then it's a secondary active transporter. And um, just remember that intact cells would have both the necessary proteins. So if you use an isolated membrane, you can leave one protein out or include, uh, leave one out, include the other, determine which protein is necessary for a secondary active transport.